pick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far, so... I should just give it a shot? I think so. I'll meet you back here or not. What are you doing? I thought you were going to ask around. Go on, Arthur. Divide and conquer. What are you doing? I thought you were going to ask around. So, are you gonna see what you can find out in the saloon? Excuse me. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, right, thank you. So, mister. Can I ask you a question? So, are you going to see what you can find out in the saloon? Bronte. <laughs> Look. I don't know what business you in, but leave it, free. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Why, the cocksucker. <gasps> you know what I mean, friend? Well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. You son of a bitch! have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. Right, you're nauseous and I'm nauseated. You're impossible. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? 
We'll take you to him. You can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. You better stop right now. Run. Thanks, Brad. Give me my things. Here. Bronte. The big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. It's quite a town. Get lost. Do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European like this. You don't have a lot of protection. I want them to get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place. <coughs> Must be you okay, John? I guess. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? We'll get more bars down the street so we can talk about this like gentlemen. I got this. This is a good one. Don't worry, boys. We can't be. We're gonna need to straighten a couple of things. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his money? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his goddamn money? Ti adoro. <laughs> Date da bere sti uomini. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I was coming for you. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, okay, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Oh, oh, oh. 